Danielle Lockford and I'm a professional roller skater creator and coach. So today we're going to be focusing on our posture in our home base position. Let's do a checklist from the bottom up to the top. First of all, we need to think about our feet. So we want to make sure that they're not too wide and they're not glued together. They're right underneath our hips, so hip width distance apart. Also check the angles of your feet. Are they slightly pointed out? Are they slightly pointed in? If they are, you will probably notice because you'll probably be rolling around. So make sure that your toes are definitely pointing straight forward in the same direction. We call this parallel position. Moving on up, we have our knee. So I will face the side so you guys can see what is going on here. If you look at my knees, they are most definitely bent. You can also notice that I have a bend in my ankles here. My coach, Michael Fraley, always called this the Z because it creates a Z or kind of like a lightning bolt if you want to think about it that way. So my ankles are bent, my knees are bent, and that then leads me up to my hips. So when we think about our hips, we actually want to think about our pelvis and whether or not it is tilted or tucked. Quite often what happens if we stick our bum out, our body tilts forward and we end up straightening our knees, which obviously isn't the best position for skating in. I like to think of my tailbone pointing directly down to my heels. We bend those knees and we think about a nice long lower spine. The next thing moving up is our upper body. So we're thinking about the chest and the shoulder region. So we don't want to be hunched over like this. We want to think about lifting up, opening up that chest and pulling the shoulders back and down. And the last thing is of course our head. So we don't want to have our focus right down to the floor with our chin to our chest. We want our chin up, our focus at eye level, and voila! So there you go, they're my top tips for good posture. You can also always have your arms out for a little bit of balance when you are starting, or have your hands on your hips, which also just gets them out of the way and helps too. I do have full online classes and tutorials over on the Patreon, so don't forget to check them out. I'll pop the link down below. Please like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching so much. I hope you've learned something. I appreciate you all more than you can possibly know, and I will see you on the next one.